In front of me today, I have 10 alternatives for you to buy at the drugstore that are every bit as good as the high-end counterparts. I hope that you're going to love these as much as I do. Let's get into the cheaper and better makeup at the drugstore that you can buy today. Before we get started, I wanna go ahead and tell you that I will be listing my shirt and all of my jewelry, along with the other makeup that I've worn today, down in the description box. Sometimes you have to kind of scroll up down there and you'll find it. I also have my fingernails, which are some press-on fingernails down there so that you can see that. Everything should be listed and linked for you. Let's talk about a little bit of skincare and then we'll get into some great makeup. Now, I discovered this, Lumiel. This is an exfoliant and it's glass skin liquid exfoliant, retexturizing, resurfacing, cell cellular renewal, exfoliant liquid glass skin. Now, what I love about this is it's so gentle. This is an AHA, BHA product that just is going to really soften the dead skin and it's going to give you that new pretty skin shining through, which is where the glass skin comes from. It just seems to be a super refining toner. I love this and your skin looks so gorgeous after using it. I can't even begin to tell you, but this is, it's absolutely outrageous. I didn't get it sent to me, but it got talked up so much in the mature community over on TikTok that I watch that I got sucked in and I wanted to try it. And it is a beautiful, beautiful product. However, I do feel like one product that I get off of Amazon that is fraction. I think it's somewhere around $10. It might be a little bit more than that. This is from Son By Me. This is a Korean skincare product. This is an AHA, BHA, PHA 30 day mineral, miracle, not mineral, miracle toner. It has really yummy ingredients like tea tree in it that make it so gentle on the skin. So this is non commandant comedogenic, I always get messed up on that, tested, skin exfoliating ingredients, dual function cosmetic, low pH toner. This is gorgeous. This also has niacinamide in it, which is that beautiful brightener as well. And niacinamide can help sweep out the gunk out of your pores, just like these acids can. Now, what I feel like is that this does the same thing. When you put it on your skin, you're going to get that retexturizing, that resurfacing, that beautiful new skin is gonna come through. I feel like it does pretty much exactly the same thing as the Lumiel does. I love the Lumiel, but for the price, I would definitely go for the Sun By Me. This is just a beautiful, gentle exfoliant that will really show some pretty skin through. So that's my first one. The second skincare one comes from SK2 or SKII. I can never remember what it is, but this is a facial treatment essence from, I think it's called Patera. Anyway, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous product. This has galactomyces in it, which is a fermentation process that really helps be an antioxidant, a brightener, a refiner of our skin. This has been loved for, by women for a very long time, but it's really expensive. I mean, I think this one is getting up there around $200. This one was sent to me and I do love it. It does show those same results, but I will tell you that I went back and I repurchased again my Secret Key First Treatment Essence. Look at the difference in the bottles. And the Secret Key is like, I think it's like $25 comparatively. And to me, there's like at least a third more in there, if not more than that. And what Secret Key is, is it's this fantastic essence that is 95% galactomyces. Now I would have to look up what the percentage of the S key SK2 is, I'm not exactly sure, but the fact that you can get something that has the 95% galactomyces and delivers brightening the pore refining, the wrinkles and lines, softens the wrinkles and lines, that's just fantastic that you can get something that is so much less expensive. So that's my second one. Third one is one that I actually don't have the other bottles here. So let me tell you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about two products, the Lancome Genifique and the Estee Lauder Night Repair. If you're a fan of either one of those, what those two, what those ingredients are in there, again, is a fermentation process, and it is bifida. Bifida is a fantastic ingredient. Again, like the galactomyces that are in the secret key, 
it is that fermentation process that's the antioxidant, the brightener, the softener of fine lines, the refiner of pores. It really does a lot for your aging skin. Bifida is a fantastic product that I have loved forever and been talking about on my channel forever. But those two that I'm talking about, they are hundreds and hundreds of dollars, depending on what size bottle you get. But you can buy something like this from Misha. This is their Time Revolution Nighttime Ampule. And it's got the same products in there, except for better in that the Misha has more bifida in it than the Estee Lauder or the Lancome Genifique. Now, the bifida concentrations in something like the Misha are around 60%. I'll have to go back and look. I'll flash it up on the screen. But I do know that Genifique and the Night Repair from Estee Lauder, both of those only have around 10% bifida in them. So why wouldn't we go for something that was not only cheaper, but it was actually higher in the amount of product that we're getting on our face that can really help us. So this is a wonderful buy this, not that, and save yourself a whole lot of money doing it. Okay, a hair care product, and I actually did just talk about this in a recent video, but I really find that this one is one that I want to shout from the rooftops because this is the Redken Acid Bonding Concentrate. This one is so much like the Olaplex number three. That's where all these companies came out with their bonding products after Olaplex did. But I do feel like you need that treatment or that extra conditioner treatment for your hair if you want to grow your hair anything past about shoulder length. My hair's getting longer and what's saving those last few inches, this is gonna save your last four inches of hair, is a bonding treatment. If you're not using a bonding treatment on your hair and it's longer, you're missing out because this can really just penetrate the hair shaft all the way, way down to the tip of the hair and just pull it all together and bond it together so that it's strong. And that's what this does. It makes your hair look sleeker, it makes it look healthier, and it's a beautiful product for anybody that is trying to make sure that their hair is as strong and healthy looking as it possibly can be. But if you don't wanna dole out how much that little bitty bottle of Olaplex 3 is, or that the Redken one itself is $30, then you're gonna wanna look into something like this from L'Oreal. L'Oreal is the parent company of Redken, and that's why I know that these products are almost identical. They can share their recipe, which is what I'm sure that most of these companies that put out high-end makeup do. You can get a drugstore alternative. But this is the L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate-Free Bond Strengthening Concentrate. And again, this is a perfecting perfecting and damage treatment for your hair. Now, let me tell you really quickly how I use this. I will wet my hair while it's, you know, dirty. I haven't washed it yet. Wet my hair, put this in there and leave it on in a twisty turby or in a towel for however long you can. The longer you can leave it on there, the more you're going to get a benefit from it. You have to have your hair wet though. That really is the key. When you're looking at the Olaplex product, it will say that you need to wash your hair, towel dry it, put this on, leave it on for the 20 minutes, and then wash it again. I don't mess with that. I've had a hairdresser tell me that you don't need to do that unless your hair is super oily or super coated down here on the ends and mine's usually just super dry. This is definitely buy this, not that. We're gonna save you some money. One of my favorite, favorite primers of all time is the Tatcha Liquid Silky Canvas Primer. This is beautiful on my 55 year old skin. I use this underneath any makeup and it just makes my makeup look absolutely gorgeous. It plays so well with all makeup. And when I found this, I was just like, oh my gosh, I've fallen in love with my first primer ever. But then it was like, I cannot swallow that $95 price tag. And I bet this is even more now that um, COVID hit and all the prices are going through inflation. I bet this is even more. But as far as the most perfecting primer underneath makeup, I think that this probably hits the mark. So I have perpetually been on the hunt for the most beautiful perfecting primer that does doesn't have a ton of silicones in it, still feels good on my dry skin and my mature skin. What I found and what I absolutely love is this Milani Skin Quench Hydrating Primer. What I love about the Milani is that this is hydrating at the same time of being that perfecting. I do think that the Tatcha is a little bit hydrating, but the Milani just, it sets itself off and it becomes a much 
better primer than the Tatcha because of how hydrating it is. Now, it's not that the hydration gets sticky or that it feels heavy on your skin at all. As a matter of fact, it just feels like the most skin quenching primer I've ever found. But as soon as it starts to sink into your skin, and it will fairly quickly, as soon as it starts to sink into your skin, you're going to start to feel that perfecting of your skin and you're going to start to see it, see how gorgeous it is. It feels so much like the Tatcha that I'm just shocked. The Tatcha may be a tad bit lighter, but when I'm looking for something, especially in the winter months, when you're wanting something that's just a little bit more hydrating, it's absolutely going to be the Milani. It just, can you see how perfecting that is. As I was getting this video together, I realized that a couple of my very favorite things in the whole wide world are the Laura Mercier Shadow Sticks and the Sigma Shadow Sticks. Now, if you have either used either one of these, you know that Shadow Sticks are such an easy way to do a one and done look on yourself. You just put it on and you know take your fingers buff it out a little bit you have on a bulletproof look for the day both of these are matte but they can be blended very easily the Laura Mercier is just a tiny bit easier to blend out and I think that's because the formula is just a tiny bit lighter and thinner than the Sigma but they're both really good and I could recommend both of them and I really love the fact that they are so long wearing and that's really important to me when I'm looking for something as well because I don't know about you but if you ever get a hot flash you know that your eyelids sweat my eyelids sweat all the time and having a budge proof eyeshadow on is the ticket but what I did find is this one on Amazon from Focalore if you have never had any Focalore makeup you're you're seriously missing out on some good stuff this Focalore makeup is so creamy and yet at the same time, again, it's super duper blendable. I'm gonna blend this one out a ton so you can see. And then right next to it, I'll put a line that's a little more solid. So you can see how easily it blend out and that it was just this soft wash. The other thing that I really like about this is this particular color. This color is like the perfect neutral brown. And obviously in color, these aren't dupes at all, but in the matte formula, in the long wear of the formula and how beautiful they blend out. The Focalore is definitely a buy this, not that alternative for you. Okay, this viral product right here from Laneige is their lip sleeping mask. And I found this one again when I very first started my channel years and years and years ago. But I really found that even though I love the way that it made my lips feel, it didn't hang on all night long. It's a really pretty product. It's very hydrating, very moisturizing on your lips. You're gonna get a few hours of it, but it's not going to last you all night. And that's really what I'm looking for with my dry lips is that I need a treatment to be there all night because when I wake up in the morning, I still want a little bit of extra hydration there. And this has skyrocketed in price as well because once everybody finds out that it's a you know a product that everybody loves, then they hike their prices just a little bit on that. So Laneige I do love, but I feel like e.l.f. did just every bit as good on their product as Laneige did. And I do feel like this one, maybe it's just that I feel like I can be liberal with it because it's not that expensive, but I do feel like this one is more hydrating and I feel like in the morning, my lips feel soft and smooth, and I just love this lip mask. I think it's so pretty. So this is a definite buy this, not that alternative as well. Now we all know that Smashbox bought up Becca when Becca went under, Becca Cosmetics went under. And we all know that Jacqueline Hill, way back in the day, she developed this color called Champagne Pop. Well, recently Smashbox just sent me Champagne Pop again, and I was like, Ooh, I remember why I love this. This is one of the smoothest, just, it's the lightest feeling, gorgeous highlighter you have ever seen. It has this property of being this champagne color, um, not too warm, not too cool. So you're not looking at an icy color and you're not looking at a color that's really super gold. You're just looking at a color that's right there in between. And I always wear my highlighters. If you've been with me, you know this. I wear my highlighters under my blush. So the fact that this just shows up highlight is absolutely gorgeous. But the fact that it's just a pretty color is gorgeous as well. And the formula is that smoothness without having any sort of glitter in it. 
I love Champagne Pop, loved it for years. But as I was going through my highlighters, I realized that Rimmel has this highlight that's just called the Rimmel, Rimmel Highlighter. And this one is in Stardust 001. This one is the identical color. It's probably just a little bit more of that highlighter effect on there. Maybe, maybe not. But it doesn't have any sort of pinpoints in it. There's no glitter in there at all. So you get it on your cheeks. And I do have these on my cheeks today. You get them on your cheeks under your blush like I do. And you just have the most beautiful glow on. There's no texture shown up. Just one thing, remember when you're using highlighters, if you have a problem with, you know, kind of showing texture, stay right here up on your cheekbone and stay away from this part right here because this is where we have larger pores. Look how beautiful they look together. They're so pretty. And on your skin, you're going to have the most gorgeous, beautiful highlighter. And this one from Rimmel is just a few dollars compared to the 30 plus price tag of the Champagne Pop from Smashbox. Now this one is really fun for me. This is a IT Cosmetics Brush for Ulta. I've had this brush for years. It is the loveliest powder brush. Oh my goodness, it's just a lovely, big, huge powder brush that I've used and used over again. It comes out absolutely beautiful and absolutely clean each time I wash it. I have loved this. It's great for putting powder on if you have mature skin because you don't want to put too much powder on. You want to just put the right amount on and this is it. But I will tell you that the e.l.f. powder brush, their precision powder brush, look at the size. We've got just about the same size. This is every bit as nice a brush as the IT Cosmetics. And this one is still, I think, $12. It might be up to $14 now, whereas the IT Cosmetics one is upwards of almost $40. I absolutely love this as a beautiful alternative to something that costs so much, but you don't have to break your piggy bank. And lastly, from House Labs is their Lip Crayon. I found this and I was like in love with it. And I don't know why I didn't make the connection sooner, but I didn't. Now you can see how nice and creamy that goes on. It's one of those ones that just absolutely glides across your lips. It's so pretty, but it does kind of have a little bit of a matte to it. This color is called Mauve Matte, and I really love it. It's really a beautiful color. It's one of those that I just reached for, for ev with every look, just because it was like going with browns or grays or whatever I was going for at the moment, it seemed to be going with. But then I was in my makeup drawer and you know, you forget about the things that you really love and you've looked over and over again and the Maybelline lip crayon, how many, the ink lip crayons, excuse me. How many times do we go back to this as being the standard for all of those other ones? And this color, every bit as good, almost identical. I love these, they're gorgeous, they are they're so identical in the way that they go on. You can line your lips with them. You can fill in your lips, whatever you want. I have several of the colors of the Maybelline one. And I was thinking about going back and getting the House Labs one, but now I'm absolutely not going to because the one from Maybelline is every bit as good and identical to it. It is so close. This one from Maybelline is the one I have on and I have a lip gloss on over top of it just sets off your lips, makes your lips look so vibrant, so pretty. I did outline, fill in the whole entire thing with this. I really do love it and I feel like it's every bit as nice and wonderful as the House Labs. I would highly recommend that if you've been thinking about getting something like this from House Labs, that you look around because unless you're looking at the Triclone Foundation, I've been through all of their stuff and there isn't anything in there that I can't look at and go, oh my goodness, I can do that at the drugstore for pennies on the dollar comparatively. So Maybelline for the win again. All right, that's it for the buy this, not that cheaper and better at the drugstore. I hope that you did enjoy seeing all of these. If you have any sort of dupes that you have been looking at that you would like me to try, let me know down in the comment section. I love to hear those suggestions from you. And I usually run right out and buy it. So let me know and we will try it out here on the channel. Thanks so much for spending this part of your day with me. I hope that you're all doing really well and I hope that you come back around to see me in my very next video. Take care of yourselves. Love you. Bye-bye.